Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today, we're gonna try Gold Letter by PK Perfume. So, it's a sample. I mean, you probably saw the other video I did about PK Perfume. If you didn't, well, made bunch of other one the first one was with madera de oriente oscuro which i did also in an unboxing or a box content reveal because i did the unboxing before and i just showed what was inside and you know i there's gold letter and red letter red, weirdly it's just that i tried some of them that was interesting and now it was around the gold and red letter and i was like hey it could be a good idea like just before what I had to do. It could have been that I already would have done them, but anyway, I thought it was a good idea to do that. We're now gonna try the smell. So, gold letter, for me, doesn't smell like letter. It's a nice goyava. I'm looking at the note breakdown on Fragrantica, it said goyava, whatever, some kind of fruit that might appear somewhere here and it really that's that and that's the whole theme of the fragrance i i think paul said that I, he tried to make another note than goyeva and it was goyeva that really got out i'm not quite sure maybe you will be in the comment answering this if you watch this paul write in the comment what you have told me what was your goal with this fragrance but really it's not because it doesn't smell leather that it's bad fragrance it's just that it smell not leather so strong goyeva smell it smells good it's a bit uh, gourmand even if i hate that term um i think i can pick up some immortel and there is some ylang ylang that I'm picking on the paper. I'm not picking up the ylang ylang in uh, my skin though. I'm also getting some tuberose. And I would say that the tuberose is subtle because the goyava smell kind of makes it hidden. But if there wouldn't be the goyava smell, the tuberose will be much more stronger. Enterbrose is also not a note that I'm picking up on my skin. I get also some spicy notes. It smells like so like hidden at the back. I think, not I think, I'm pretty sure it's the Styrax. I'm looking at the note breakdown and there is no note that makes me, that makes me feel like it is the smell than Styrax. Because Styrax in the opening smells a lot like cinnamon. And I feel there's a little cinnamony thing in the background. So on my skin, what I'm getting at is Goyava, of course. And there is some Immortel that is... Also, there's Clary Sage that is present on my skin. Then the fragrance, there's some patchouli that come up. It's never like super intense patchouli. It's on my skin, a little bit, I think the, the ingredient is using for patchouli is like intense in my skin. And I never see the patchouli really ranked up on Fragrantica for this fragrance, for like PK Perfumes fragrance, but on me it react differently. I don't know, my skin is weird sometimes. So it goes then. Actually, there's some letter that go uh, through that phase. It's really smooth. The patchouli is more strong. It's not like super strong as the Goyeva, but it's like moderate. But the letter is really soft and under everything. There's then some more resinous accord. I get a lot of Styrax toward the end with a little bit of benzoin and a little bit of amber wood that's underneath the Styrax. And there's always a little bit of patchouli that follows everything toward the end. Longevity is average three to six hours. Projection is not 
really good with this fragrance. It will be like in a close bubble around you, but it won't be strong. It won't be like someone getting like within the social distancing area and smelling and be like, oh, wow, you smell good. That will probably not happen. But the person will have like a subtle, nice, a little bit sweet goyava or whatever, which time of the fragrance we are, Styrax, patchouli, or maybe another note. But the person will have like a soft, like that smell that will be there almost in his, in his subconscious that the person will be able to pick up, but it won't be like strong. It will be just there, subtle, which is nice depending the setting you're having, it can be really nice to have that kind of fragrance. Last average time, people will pick up, but softly. For me, this fragrance, it's a little bit more feminine because of the goyava. For me, it's more of a feminine note. Even though it, it's still unisex, it's just leaning a little bit feminine. And where I would see this fragrance, definitely not as a business fragrance, I don't think. It gives any serious, like uh, some fruity smell. I mean, if you're working in something that goes around fruits, I would get it and it would work. You know, if you're having a business where you're importing goyava from another country to your country, it could work. I think every fragrance somehow could work in every setting, so depending the person, but I wouldn't really see it as a business fragrance as a dating fragrance could be nice it smells good the little fruitiness in the beginning it's nice it's sweet and then it become more resinous it smells good I think especially if you're a woman as a dating fragrance it could be nice it's fruity almost something you'd like to eat and it's always you know gourmand fragrance are usually good for dating because in the end when you're having a date you kind of want the other person to eat you so in summer winter spectrum i think it will be really nice as a summer fragrance it smells good the goyava it's kind of tropical a little bit it's not quite tropical but you know it's a tropical fruit so in summer it could be really nice and the projection is not crazy it will probably intensify in summer but that won't make it too crazy in summer in winter though i don't think it will be a nice winter fragrance of i mean if you go outside in the cold it's already hard to smell it when you're inside outside i don't think it will cut through minus whatever in canada if, if you're if your winter is like south of United States winter or United States winter, you're probably gonna be good. But North US, Canada well, won't work. And as an everyday fragrance, I don't really see it. It's more of a dating fragrance. It's sweet. Again, it depends what's your job and but you know I'm kind of englobing everything. So I would not put it as a good uh, everyday fragrance. Still, it's a nice fragrance to have, to smell, in a date. It's a good fragrance. I completely forgot to say the note breakdown. So I'm gonna say it here in another part of the video. So there's no top, heart, and base notes, only notes on this fragrance. Notes are gardenia, tuberose, ylang ylang, helichrysium, honeysuckle, Lily, Jasmine, Kanaga, Gennet, Setsuma, Guava, Red Mandarin, Bergamot, Smoke Tree, Emberwood, Tobacco, Clarisage, Patchouli, Oak Moss, Benzoin, Tonka, Styrax, Ember, Musk, and Civet. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, we'll like and share. And if you have tried this fragrance, go uh, tell me what you think about it in the comment I'll be really happy to hear from you so thanks for watching and see you soon